From March on, a discussion on the on the future relationship uh, and on the withdrawal agreement, there is still, in our opinion, one outstanding issue uh, that needs to be solved. That is that there comes a procedure for the citizens' rights that is easy, cost-free, one form per family, with the burden of proof on the back of the Home Office and not of the citizens. And that has still to be put uh, in the withdrawal agreement. Our role is to give uh, the green light, uh, the approval at the end of the whole process. And that's exactly also what the uh, British Parliament will do now <laughs> after the vote of yesterday. I see Great Britain as, uh, yeah, as, uh, as the basis, as the source of parliamentary democracy. And that has been uh, proved again yesterday. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Prime Minister, what I think, like everyone else, uh, very happy that uh, our negotiator can recommend uh, to the Council uh, to move on in the Brexit negotiations. Uh, I follow this very closely, and of course, we are very happy with the way that uh, Michel Barnier is uh, is proceeding things. And on defence, I'm I'm from a party who's who's not much in favour of military solutions. But that being said. I think uh, what is proposed makes very good sense to get more value for money, also when it comes to our security. Hello. Hello. But what no deal means, I don't know. Once again, will pe uh, British people get access to uh, uh, their digital content also when traveling in some EU member states? It will depend on negotiations between uh, EU 27 and the United Kingdom. So I think. Um, both parties have to make efforts to reach an agreement. It's great to see you. Thank you. We'll Thank see you, you in two weeks. Yes, huh? yes, nice. yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Making progress on Brexit, do you think? Yeah. Hello, good to see you all. Bonjour, bonjour. Jeg synes det er litt som er oppkast. Bonjour. Bonjour. Jeg tror det er Stefan Tissi, det er ikke noe som er et godt. Jeg tror det er et godt. Jeg håper at vi vil være mulig å ha en fair deal, en level playing field, og vi må ikke punish de britiske citizens fordi de besluttet å leve European Union, men vi må ikke punish også de andre landene fordi en er oppleving. I, I hope, and the first informations I have are more positive, but we will take the decision, and not the Commission, it's the European Council. And it, it's good that we have a defence cooperation. I we are not the biggest one in the defence cooperation, I have to admit as Luxembourgers, but the fact is that we, we see that we have to be able to, to be more solidar between us and to have a closer cooperation in European countries. We, have, uh, we can't just decide our military strengths on the decisions of an, a guy uh, being elected sitting on the other side of the sea. It is important that we, uh, not, not 28 now because some are not members, but most of them are able to have more coordination and uh, also in military uh, topics. And I believe that we will be able to do that. And it's a great decision for today. Hey, Prime Minister. Are you looking forward to starting the Brexit process? Hello. Uh, hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, how's how's, how's Theresa May looking this morning? She lost a vote back.